Welcome back to the channel, folks. Thanks for tuning in to Santos Custom. On today's episode, we'll be working on wings. Should we fly? No! We'll create some big ass wings so we can put some McDonald's on the back end of my car. Time attack rules on now! What's up, guys? Um, so, on this, we'll just continue uh, where we left off. Um, so, as you guys saw, I drew some outlines of what the, I would like the spoiler to look like as a end result. Um, once I marked up the final design that I wanted to look like, I just traced it off on a piece of paper and then trans tra traced it off on a piece of cardboard. Uh, and I'll just we'll take a simple exacto, trim them off, see if I really like them, adjust the template from there, and uh, if everything looks good, then start building a mold and uh, we'll do the first prototype, see what it looks like, if it's appealing or not, if I like it or not, and then if it works. That's if it doesn't work and it's appealing, like who cares? We're not looking for we're not going for looks, we're looking for how good it is and if it's gonna perform. So it's gonna be the main focus. So stay tuned, let's work on it. So I cut the two pieces of cardboard from the templates that multiple the drawings that I had done. Um, so this is it. So next step will be to transfer those into a harder material like a thinner piece of wood. Um, and then sand them, make them look as good as I can. Then do a template and work on the, uh, the mold for the composite. Uh, and goal will be carbon fiber. So this is what I'm aiming for. Um, it will be a full spoiler and carbon fiber for the rear. Here we go. Tracing done. Hello guys. Um, just finished sanding them up. Um, the rough is done. So now we just have to go with like a finishing touch. Gently sand it. And we got the the shape that I was looking for. Now that we have the wings cut to approximately the shape that I want them to be, um, we're gonna have to take a small break out of that. We'll need to like assemble the uh, foam cutter um, for that. Just handling around my house, an inch and a half ABS. Um, just gonna shove in two uh, 90 degrees. Cut them three feet wide i think i think if we go too wide uh, what's gonna happen or what might happen i should say is that the wire get, makes like a bow in the middle uh you don't want that so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try at three feet um and then two small legs and we'll give it a shot and we'll see if it works Bro, this is phenomenal. Shit. Okay, let's 
that. Look at that. Look at that. Now, is this going to be like upper, higher, but I don't want it so much out there. Yeah. Yeah, here That's gonna look sick as long as they keep keeping the ass down. What up, folks? Just finished uh, building a second set of templates. Went back on the drawing board um, on the computer and designed. This was the original set, this is the new set. So, um, almost identical. I changed the, uh, I changed the, 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 the shape of the wing, uh, a bit more aggressive. Um, you could see I, I knocked off an inch and a half. Uh, of width, uh, so that's gonna be better and it's more curved in. But uh, this is it. So this should be the final uh, final concept. Uh, we'll go ahead, clean them up a bit more, just to make sure that there's they're fully smooth. Make new plugs. Uh, both templates are done, so like that you're fully identical. Like when you put put them both together, uh, screw, screw them tight together, and then send them together. Like that, you're fully sure that they're 100 percent identical. If you try to do them by hand and you do one and then you do the other one, forget it, you'll have never much. So anyway, so this will be it. So let's get more foam and uh, let's get on cutting again. Here it goes, guys. Um, after numerous attempts, this would be uh, something like that. This is the final cut, the final prototype. Uh, they just need to be uh, sanded down just a bit. Uh, just to make sure that the small imperfection that we can see over here, they're all gone. Uh, this is like just minimal. You could barely fill it. You just, I think in camera it picks it up more than what you could actually fill it. Um, so I'm just going to send it just to make sure that there's a smooth edge. And those um, should be good. I made all kinds of templates. Um, like if I zoom in over there, over here, you'll see like there are like a few models over there. There's more at the top. Uh, anyways, I think... I. I put a lot of stuff everywhere, um, so we're getting there. So now next step is the next step would be to uh, work on the uh, brackets to hold it in place, and uh, we'll take it from there. So stay tuned. Let's work on that. What's up, guys? So I think it's a right moment for to do a small recap of what we build, uh, the tools I used. So that you guys, if ever you want to improve from what I did, bring it up to a next level. That at least you guys have some basics and you can give it a try. On your Here we go. So this is some drawing. So the step number one is go on the computer. Design an airfoil type that you like, a design that you think will go good. Do some testing uh, on computer. There is plenty of free softwares on the internet that you can grab and do some basic airflow, see if it's gonna look like it's working good or not, and take it from that point. Uh, once you have it, print it out. I like to print it because I really have to look at it. Uh, this is just me personally. I need to look at it, see if it looks good doesn't look good if I could improve it because sometimes you look at something on the computer and when you do it in real life it's something else so that's just me and how I work and how I like to work so let's say step one you design this you have it you print it you have it second step would be to go ahead and trace it on the cardboard cardboard like we saw so here you go so this is a car one of the cardboard pieces that I drew you have a template once you have a template in cardboard the next thing you have to do is do it in wood I, I don't want to say you have to do it in wood or not but I did it in wood. Uh, small plywood, quarter inch thick. Just make sure you get the, the plywood that is smooth, like that it's easier uh, for the uh, metal rope to slide around when you trace it into your mold. What you need to build is some type of foam cutter. I use plain ABS tubing, an inch and a half. There's nothing fancy. I bought one length of six feet. I use three feet for the, the, the uh, straight piece, which it gives me 36 inches. And I put one feet uh, of leg leg ramp on each side. Uh, the only thing that I came up with is simple hooks so I can twist my cable on top, cable slides all the way down to the other one and you need something to come up with an idea to give tension to your cable because this needs to be super tight as you guys could see it. Then inside of here, I don't know if you guys could see it, I'll try to show you. Um, here we go. Um, well, you can't really see it, but inside there's a double nut and I have my wire that is there. So what do you do is you put in one end, you put a positive wire on the other end, you put a negative wire and then you route your wires inside and you make a hole somewhere. So the wires come out of it and then you plug this, you plug it to your control source. On my end, I had, um, a controller that output for six amps. 
It doesn't mean that yours is going to be, the, you're going to need six amps. Uh, There's going to have to be some trials and errors you do. I think the average of what I see is about five and six amps. That depends on the length of wire you're running and the quality of wire. Usually you go with uh, Nikrin, uh, Nikron uh, type of wire. I, I don't have that. It will take me extra days to get it. So since I'm, I weld a lot, I do have stainless steel uh, wire. Um, this is what I use. Uh, so it's a 030 uh, inch a stainless steel wire. Nothing else, uh, nothing fancy, does the job super well. Then once you have that, you carve your piece. Once you carve your piece, this is the end result. Something super smooth. You have your airfoil shape and you're good. So I know it's a small recap. At least you guys have a better idea of the tools that I use, what do I did and not. Uh, as I said also in the video, this I had to cut it in two pieces, so the wing will be split in two. Each half is 32 inches, which will give me a total length of 64 inches uh, for my wing. Also, you have to add end plates on this end. Uh, end plates will be a quarter inch thick. I will have a total width of 64.5 inches. Um, I have to stay for my uh, time attack rules. Uh, it sends that my wing can, uh, cannot has to be the same width maximum as the body of my car. And I cannot... It has to be maximum five inches behind the furthest part of my car and it cannot be above eight inches on top of my roof. So uh, when you're in time attack, there's rules, there are rule books you have to look depending on the class you're running into. You can't deviate. So it's not because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to go bigger. I, it's not because I don't want to. It's because I can't. Those are my rules. If I decide to go above that, then I'm going to be bumped in class and then I'm just going to have uh, not in the right position to race against anybody. What's up, folks? Hope you guys liked the video of today. Uh, don't forget this is only part one of three. So part one will be we build the wings, part two will be building on the uprights, and part three will doing the carbon and final product and show it on the car. So stay tuned, hope you like the videos. If you haven't done yet so, subscribe, hit the plus like button, and see you on the next episode. Bye.